Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bromans Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in, my lovelies. If you're, you're an old face, welcome back. Nice to see you. I just want to give um, a heads up uh, or a hype up to um, Otter Spirit. Um, they are a Californian-based uh, jewellery shop they, or company. I'm wearing their um, Gemini pack at the moment. And I have to say, look, I know I've done a, sp a sponsor for them a couple of days ago. But since I've been wearing this, this has helped me. I have so many placements I keep personal to myself with Gemini in my um, natal chart. But this, my dream downloads have become mad since I have started wearing this. I wear this to sleep. I wear it in the bath. I wear it all the time. OK, you have got here Blue Appetite, Howlite and Rhodonite. I think that's right. Rhodonite is for um, emotional healing. How light, from what I remember reading about it, it actually helps with anxiety. Blue appetite was to connect with emotions. This is all to do with how you connect with your throat chakra, with your, your crown chakra and with your heart space. I wanted to give them a, a shout out again, simply because I like to, once I have um, advertised, whatever the product is, is come back, you know, a little bit later to see how it's actually working. You guys, if you haven't already had a look at the link that I've got down below, go and have a look. You get 20% off of Bronwyn if you get, take the code Bronwyn20. They have all different types of intention packs from love, protection, uh, confidence. It could be to attract more money in and they have zodiacs. OK, you do not have to pick the zodiac that is your sun, moon or rising. You can pick other ones that are heavy placements. They're worth it. Uh, every single purchase that you make one dollar goes towards um ocean conservation all right they're a really awesome company and these work these work that's what i want to say on that okay now the messages that came through were a lot of music there seems to be a lot of spicy spicy energy in the air okay we got snow wife american horror horror sh um, show love that song love it it's very spicy okay uh, hot like a chili. Then you have Unholy by Sam Smith. Okay, now it, you know, very spicy. And then we had Kill Bill by Shah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, S Z A, Shah. Listen, we have got S E X, we have got violence, we have got drama happening in whatever this message is, right? Because if you go and watch the video, the music video Kill Bill by Shah, I swear, it starts off with this guy giving this woman in like they're in their, um, their trailer, you know, giving her a present saying, I'm sorry that I have to, you know, I'm leaving you. I love you. And then they shoot up the whole thing. And then it's her doing exactly the Kill Bill with Uma Thurman, going back and getting revenge on everyone. Right. But the music, the actual lyrics that came through were, I'd rather be in jail than be alone. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. If I can't have you, then no one will. I did it all for love. I did it all for us. I just, my ex, not the best idea. I just, his girlfriend, how did I get here? This is giving me some stalker vibe. Someone is either watching you or watching someone else. And they are, it's not even that they're mad jealous. This person is unhinged because Snow Wife, American Horror Show, that's about like, like real, like animal kind of like, it's reminding me of the song Nine, by Nine Inch Nails. Um, oh, what is it called? By Nine Inch Nails. Um, it's more or less saying, I want to F you like an animal. And then with this unholy Sam Smith, go and watch the music video for it, okay? Because this again is saying, does, does mummy know what you're up to, in other words, when you're out here getting all of the... I'm getting like swingers. Either this person is into swinging or like orgies. And for some reason, I got bunga bunga parties. Wasn't there like some um, Italian? Sorry, my back's really itchy. Wasn't there like this Italian like um, minister of some sort that was into like what he called bunga bunga parties, which were just f parties. Everyone went and shagged everyone, and there was a lot of weird underage stuff going on as well. And I got that they would. Someone got caught doing it in a car. They're swinger parties, but you have someone here who is either. They've either got like an unhealthy um, attachment to a masculine or they have an unhealthy attachment to you in some way. Leg up and chop wood or leg up. The thing is as well, right? Leg up can be like, she's getting a leg over, you know, they're getting a leg up. A leg up can be kind of like um, climbing up the ladder. 
so to speak, in your career or in your industry. But with it being, in, with regards to the, the energy that's come through, this is almost like someone sleeping their way up to the top. Mm, weird. Weird. And I just smell onions for some reason. Something unsavoury. I heard unsavoury. And there's part of my back that's super itchy, just one part. Ah, sorry, it's got nothing to do with the reading. Um, you've got orphaned here and you've got soulmate. So this literally could be a soulmate. This could be your soulmate or this, whoever it is who is obsessed. They may have it in their head that whoever it is that they are, um, I, I, do you know what I'm seeing? You know, in Star Trek and they have the Borg and they have like wires and stuff that come out of them because they're part cyborg, or they're part human, part machine they're like cyborg but they all they all think and and feel and breathe and stuff as one and i'm seeing like their wires coming out and trying to hook into someone's flesh it's weird right that's the energy that i'm getting of whoever it is that is obsessed but i mean obsessed to the point of like this person is unbalanced and dangerous because you've got soulmates and then you've also got orphaned coming out okay and time to go in reverse exactly there is some sort of weird attachment that this person has i don't know if they met this per whoever it is that they're really obsessed with they may have met them at some sort of swingers party or at a party in a club all right i'm just do you know what i've got like uh music videos playing on youtube like silent but with the captions on yeah this song this is um I can't remember her name now. Huang Thu Lin. And it was Sei Ting. Sei Ting. Sei Ting. And it's that song about being like, am I under a love spell? Or do I need to put this person under a love spell because they are mine? And you've got serendipity upside down. Okay. So someone here is forcing some sort of narrative. Or they're for... It's almost like... It. I feel like if I get the tarot out, the tarot cards out, I'm going to get like the Seven of Cups. I'm going to get some sort of fantasy going on in someone's head, right? But you've got a message coming out. Someone here, that, yeah, the fates. This is not destiny. This is not destiny. And why am I being shown this? Now, this is Doja Cat. Oh, I do not like this woman. I don't like Doja Cat in any way, shape or form. I do not vibe with her whatsoever. I find her really low vibrational. The face is coming back out again with message in the bottle. So there is some sort of message coming through. And I don't know why this is important to the um, collective because you've got yin, okay? So this is somebody who has, um, there's trauma that is connected to the divine feminine within this person that's very obsessed. There's something about neglect, like severe neglect from childhood. So they weren't able to develop properly and breathe coming through. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to take that one or not. Let's have a look. Level 69 unlocked. And you've got exchanging gifts. So there is something that's attached to... Um, why am I hearing dream work? Flexible. Someone's trying to trap a person. And I heard energy, energy transference is real. What I want to know, though, is if this is you... Or if this is, a, I'm getting a masculine of some sort. Let me see. Yeah, Ace of Wands here to the Ace of Pentacles. This is literally, um, this is saying don't, don't pass, don't pass go. Do not get 200 pounds. Do not, you know. I don't like this. This has got really weird vibes to it. Really weird vibes. Especially with that, I, I just, my ex, not the best idea, just his girlfriend, how did I get here? I feel like this is a third party energy. And there is somebody who, um, confirmation, there's someone here that has their eye on you. Okay, they, it may be a soulmate connection, I don't know. But I do know that this person, whoever it is who is obsessed, this per I heard manacle, this person may be manic depressive, they may have bipolar. I cannot, um, I can't diagnose them, I'm not a doctor and um it's not my place to but this person is not taking their medication if they are which can be very dangerous for themselves as well as uh, for this person for for others as well and i'm not saying that if you have bipolar if you don't take your medication then that you are a menace to society this is just the energy of this specific person that's coming out okay you've got the four of swords in reverse 
there is something that is um there's something this person is bat battling from their past and they, they blame you in some way i don't know if this person has been watching you and there is something about being inspired to a certain degree okay but it's almost like you trigger this person's wounds okay a confirmation enough you trigger this person's wounds in some way and i feel like they're blaming you simply because if you get triggered by something all right and a lot of people like to use that word as an insult if someone gets triggered you know <clears throat> but if you get if if there's a wound that gets triggered by something you see you hear you smell you remember whatever it might be that's an opportunity then for that wound to be looked at to be loved to to take steps to heal okay this person isn't this person is not like how dare you trigger in them something that they've been trying to hide but i'm not just getting that this person this person uses a lot of sex magic because every song that's been coming on since i started um pre-channeling and then channeling this they've all been very spicy okay we have now got um spice shaggy and sean paul go down there i think it's go down there or go down which is just about chowing down you know <laughs> it's about chowing down right the song before that i had snow wife american horror show on holy sam smith kilby bill ja that one wasn't so spicy that one's more about kind of like this is giving me like a love spell that's turned into a stalker of some sort but it's almost like it's gone back on themselves because you have here the knight of pentacles this is i don't know if this is a karmic soulmate or if this is a soulmate that is um, unbalanced or unhealed you've also got the five of pentacles coming out and you've got the knight of cups underneath yeah this this is something that rebounded this person does a lot of sex magic and i heard it's not working or it's literally gone back onto themselves because you've got here the knight of cups and when I put this down here, this person is obsessively thinking about, um, I'm getting weird energy from this person, that this person, when they were young, that's why I was getting like, um, that energy of like bunga bunga parties and like they're being underage people being there as well, or energies there. I feel like this person has on and off been <clears throat> an SEX worker of some sort, of some sort from a young age which is awful 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 my gosh but this person this is how they attract um and trap targets i heard targets okay and this person is has either caught feelings for whoever their last target was or they have done some sort of love spell that went wrong and they've ended up being the stalker to the person that they were targeting in the first place. King of Swords here to the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, because you know what? Whoever it is that is like, I have a feeling this is this is a, I'm not going to say a karmic soulmate, but an unhealed soulmate of yours. This person has started their healing journey. And I'm hearing someone saying a little too late, the healing journey isn't for you okay this isn't about them getting back with you they may wish to get back with you but this isn't about them getting back with you this is them going on their own healing journey uh, this person is going on their own healing journey and for some reason them going on their healing journey has removed something a blockage a chain a binding a cord something that was connecting them or keeping them um in submission i'm just looking at the song on here this is what song is this Whoever said that money can't solve your problems must have not had enough money to solve them. Yeah, so this person here, this 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 feminine energy that's coming through as the SEX worker, this person, they hide behind like extra femi femininity. They're really giving me Ariana, Anna, I can't say her name, Ariana Grande vibes. She's really pretty. She's very feminine. She's very, you know, cutesy. She's almost like the anime kind of like ideal, idealization of a woman right um and that's what i'm getting especially with this yin being all super pink and cute and fluffy and stuff like that that is what i'm getting from this this woman or from this feminine energy but this feminine energy <clears throat> i'm now getting the vibes of this kill bill jar betrayed by the one you loved 
or you loved, ha- and I didn't read that bit, had a hit put out on you. Who, whoever their target was to love scam, to bring, to get money out of, may have had a hit put out on them. Or the opposite, other way around, they may have tried to put a hit out on you. This Ariana Grande kind of all fluffy and pink may have tried to put a hit out on you. This person is obsessed. They're obsessed with whoever their target is. When am I getting young money? Young money. Is that their rap name? I heard celebrity status. King of Swords is coming out. The King of Swords is to do with legality of something. This person is trying to get away from, I'm just gonna call her Ariana Grande from now on. It's trying to get away from Ariana. There's something that they've had to let go of. And it's to, it's a, a large financial chunk of their nest egg of something they were saving uh, because they've had to go through courts. Two of Pentacles to find peace, to literally find peace and balance. But they see it as being victory. They see it as victory. <coughs> now, if they're not swingers, then they are in like a polyamorous relationship of some sort. I don't know whose ancestor said it, but they said a lot of plant, eggplant emojis swinging about. I don't, not me. I did not say that. But you have here Ace of Wands to the Eight of Swords. There's some sort of trap or something that was sorted, something was stopped. And I heard your ancestors knew. Your ancestors knew what was going to happen. What was the trap? Let me put this down here. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. I'm so mature. If I can't have you, then no one will. I did it all for love. I did it all for us. I don't know if this Ariana Grande style-esque SEX worker is going to get caught for doing something like going, like losing it, completely losing it, going insane and trying to unalive this person. And hopefully, I don't feel like this. You guys are safe. This is what I need to tell you. My readings are always and only for confirmation of what you already intuitively know. They're not to tell you something new that you don't already know. Okay. So if you're feeling the vibe of this reading, then you're like, what? Oh my gosh, fear, fear, fear. This isn't for you. This reading isn't for you. And please remember that my readings are for entertainment uh, purposes only. Okay. And always seek the advice of a lawyer, a doctor, a nurse, a therapist, whoever it is that you need to speak to before taking any advice from me, because I don't claim to be any of those. All right. You've got the star. That's definitely, um, something's about to be uncovered or something's about to go viral when it comes to, um, why am I getting a rap artist? For someone here, there is a rap artist that is obsessed with you or someone who's in the music industry, the music circuit. And it's the, their divorce or there's a settlement that is going to be in the news soon. And I heard in the next six months to a year, it's going to be in the news. I heard trying to take a hit out on you. Someone tried to take a hit out on you, but it was thwarted. And I'm seeing that card from which deck is it? From this deck over here, this mixed deck here. And it says, you know, the card that says cancer, um, you and your family are safe. You are safe. You're safe. You've got ten of pentacles coming out. Yeah, this person, the ten of pentacles in reverse, they've kind of lost their mind a little bit with the fact that their spells aren't working. So keep hearing delusional. Someone is delusional. There's a lot of healing this person needs to do. But this isn't just about healing. This is to do with their um, career. Their career is going to plummet. Or their career is plummeting. Their career is plummeting. Plummeting, I can't say the word. While yours is in balance. This person can't deal with it. You've got the Empress in reverse. They were trying to disempower you in some way. King of Cups. They're so disempowered. They are so disempowered. This, this person is someone is coming towards you. Is it this music? Is it this celebrity? And I heard bet. Okay. Tell me about this celebrity. Who is this person? Look, three of pentacles. This celebrity wants to work with you. 
you have leg up and then serendipity and then collaboration. This is either telling me that this per this is there's a lot of like central charged energy, but also either this isn't going to be very serendipitous, or there is this energy of having your guard up in some way. Why? Why having the guard up? Because you can feel this. I don't know if you are very, very psychic or you have really strong intuition, so you can tell when someone's BSing you. You may have blocked this person from reading you. If this is like a twin flame connection, you've got justice coming out and you've got two of cups. I feel like this, there is a fated connection coming in for you. It doesn't have to be this rapper or this celebrity, but it's whoever it is that is coming in on a soulmate level or on a twin flame level, it is going to be serendipitous. I don't know if it's this person here, okay? Because you've got justice and you've got the two of cups. This is a balanced, a balanced relationship, a balanced relationship. Somebody wants a balanced relationship with you. You've got King of Wands. I told you this is very spicy energy. Very spicy energy. I honestly feel that um, if this is a soulmate connection, if this is a healed soulmate connection, this person is going to have to really work their butt off to be able to offer more than just an eggplant emoji if they are masculine, as in a male, all right? Or a peach emoji if they are... Um, feminine or, or female because it's sat next right next to the knight of cups this person is going to have to do more than just talk the talk and you know they have to walk the walk because you've got the knight the king of pentacles has come out and the knight of pentacles has also come out in reverse this person has had to start from the bottom they'll have to start from the bottom all the way back up again okay because you've got the four of wands here and then you have the ten of wands so they may be either losing their home or moving home or having to re um relocate in some way okay we've got tower coming out to the four of wands to the eight of wands so some is coming quick some is coming towards you quick okay four of wands this is stability or a home you then have the tower okay big big change big change coming eight of wands at a fast pace and then you have the hermit Okay, so someone's coming out of their comfort zone. So either this is going to take you out of your comfort zone or you have this celebrity, celebrity status person who is coming towards you at a fast pace who wants to offer you something. Is this something that the collective should be taking or investing in? Is this something that they should be taking or investing in? Eight of Cups, whatever it is that they are going to... Oh, wow. Okay, so you've got Eight of Cups in reverse and then you have the Seven of Pentacles and then you have the Sun. Whatever's coming towards you is going to bring in, whether it's stability with the four of wands being here to the eight of wands, this is either a house move or this is, a, this is stability. With the eight of cups in reverse, this is a continued effort and the seven of pentacles is more or less looking at what you have and working on that. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the person who has this weird energy stalking them, weird energy from this feminine. Or this is someone completely different. We're going to have to try and figure this out. Let's figure this out, collective. The sun to the queen of wands. That's the thing, though. I don't know if this person has a child with this very unbalanced feminine energy, Ariana Grande kind of energy, okay? Because the queen of wands is coming out in reverse and you have the king of wands. So these people are not seeing eye to eye. They're not seeing eye to eye. They may not be seeing eye to eye about their child. And I heard their son. For someone, it's their son. Yeah, look, marriage, knight of swords. There's a lot of tit for tap. And if it's not a marriage, it was a union of some sort. But it's messy, messy, messy. How does this involve the collective? You've got the nine of pentacles here. So that eight of cups. Because there's something here about a relationship. This is definitely either a marriage because the Nine of Pentacles can sometimes depict a single person. And with it being upside down, this person isn't single. They're not single. And then you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So this person has been in a long-standing relationship, union, marriage, or something along these lines with this person here. Okay? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's not working. It's literally not working. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they, they're not enjoying each other's company. There's no affection. There's no love lost between them. Okay? Eight of Wands. They've literally been stuck. 
they've been stuck in this relationship or one of them feels stuck in this relationship and i don't know if that's because the feminine energy has been binding this masculine into a relationship that they didn't want to be in okay binding them with sex magic the end you've got the king of yeah king of swords coming out to the five of wands this is chaos chaos energy coming through and it looks like this masculine may have been fighting this fighting against this i heard healing themselves healing themselves four of swords healing themselves in their sleep or in their dreams and i put that down right next to the justice card this was karma they were supposed to go through this they were supposed to go through this queen of wands they were supposed to get away from some sort of like distorted sexual energy or sensual energy the wild it was something that was blocking their destiny why does that one want to come out yeah they've been able to remove something they've been able to remove something either this this could be a custody battle as well for someone they wanted to bring an ending to a, a custody battle of some sort wow whatever has ended you now have somebody who's coming towards you okay they're coming towards you with quite quite a lot of gusto i feel like this person feels like they feel quite confident for some reason they feel quite confident because you've got the queen of cups coming out they see you as the queen of cups and especially where i put this down the queen of cups is right next to the king of cups king of cups which is in reverse this is giving me that where there was almost like silent treatment constant silent treatment sleeping in different bedrooms not seeing eye to eye and i have a feeling they had a large house i heard many houses but they had a large house they would never see if they didn't want to see each other they wouldn't see each other for the whole day and be in the same in the same yard in the same house wow wow yeah look this was a reality check seven of cups to the two of wands they did not want to be working with each other they didn't want to be there and you've got the high priestess coming out in reverse to the six of swords this person didn't want to let go of this masculine because they'd invested in them in some way they'd invested in them you've got the five of pentacles in reverse something about this masculine brought in luck brought in gold i heard brought in gold for them four of pentacles so they wanted to con continue to hold on to them wow 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 ace of swords to justice it was almost like um pretending i heard that they were on the right side of god okay okay anything else what does the collective need to know three of pentacles in reverse tell me give me clarity clarity on the three of pentacles king of cups so what was that underneath then? Because I forgot the queen there. Was that the knight of cups? That was the knight of cups in reverse. Okay. So yeah, this relationship that these two had was very surface level. There was not, there was never any emotion there. Or there may have been the illusion for one because they were being trapped in an illusion created by magic, by baneful spell work wow because now we've got this look we've got the queen and we've got the king of cups queen and king of cups so this person that everyone has a past and anyone that comments and goes i don't have a past i'm an angel you are lying to yourself and you're letting us know that you're you're lying to yourself everyone has a past everyone has things that they have done that they they regret this is not me saying oh you have to choose this person or if this person comes forward you have to let them into your you know your heart space you don't have to it's your choice it's your life but the energy that's coming through is that this person i heard has changed for you okay this person is changing for you can't make it up cannot make it up lovers has come out queen and cups queen of cups and king of cups okay this is an actual couple justice and literally this coming out with justice is karma you've also got emperor coming out to the three of cups this person has been working hard on themselves and they want to provide for you wow i'm surprised that the empress hasn't come out you've got the wheel of fortune underneath as well wow wow okay i think i'm gonna leave it here king of wands this is going to be the very spicy energy very spicy energy this person do you know what I'm getting from this though? It's that if this person comes towards you and there it's reciprocal and not you find that person fine, they find you fine, to not allow, don't give it up to them straight away because this is what this person is used to. There's something here about making them wait and making them earn it, making them 
find out more about you before finding out anything else about you, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. If you are new to my channel and you liked what you heard and you'd like to see more, you'd like to see when I post, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content. Sometimes I speak really fast and I do apologise for those on the other side of the pond if you don't understand me. But yes, if you do like what you hear, hit on that like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more. Um, and those who are OG subscribers, hearts, kisses, I love you guys. Anyone looking for a personal reading or, feel, or feeling generous and wants to leave a tip or a donation, it's never expected, but all the information for that is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.